All right, here we go. We have 10 separate instances of Metalama 3 8B Instruct all running simultaneously. Look at that. This is the best computer I have ever used, and I'm going to try to melt it today. Dell and NVIDIA sent me an absolute monster, a beast at churning through matrix multiplication, which means it is incredibly good at running inference, at training models, at fine tuning models, and at playing video games. So I'm going to show you what they sent me. I'm going to show you the specs, and then let's try to melt it. I'm going to load it up with the biggest possible models, and we have a lot of VRAM to work with, so let's see what we can do. So my friends at Dell and NVIDIA sent me a Precision 5860 Tower workstation, which includes an Intel Xeon 2475X processor. It has Windows 11 and Copilot built into it, but I'm running everything locally since this is just a monster at running local inference. And for the crown jewel, it comes with not one, but two NVIDIA RTX 6000 ADA generation. That is 48 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM times two, 96 gigabytes. We can fit massive models directly onto the card and run inference at incredible speeds. We also have 128 gigabytes of RAM split over eight 16 gigabyte cards. That's DDR5, 4,800 megahertz RAM cards. And super underrated, we have two four terabyte M.2 SSDs built in. I am always running out of space on my computer and now I'm not going to. And look, this PC, it was not inexpensive and it's not for everybody. But if you want to run local models, massive local models at blazing speed, if you want to do your own fine tuning, if you're a data scientist, this could be a really good option for you. And it was surprisingly small. It's about half the size of my previous tower. And Dell and Nvidia were kind enough to send me some extra equipment to give away to you. I have multiple monitors to give away. I have keyboards. I have mice. All you need to do is stick around to the end of the video to find out how to enter for a chance to win different pieces of hardware that I'll be giving away over the next few weeks. And one of the very first things I did install LM Studio because we are going to push this to the limit today. So I've already downloaded a bunch of different models. Currently 224 gigabytes of disk space based on these models. The largest one coming in at just under 75 gigabytes, which is the Llama 3 70B Instruct model. Now, 70 billion parameters is a ton, and you might think I can just throw all 70 billion unquantized onto these cards and I'd be fine, but in fact, you're not. It's not really possible. And if I were to try to put a 70 billion parameter unquantized model on a chip, unquantized, it's going to take 280 gigabytes of VRAM. So I don't have anywhere close to that. I have 96, still an incredible amount, but I can't run a 70 billion parameter model unquantized. But I have the Q8 quantization, so very little quantization. And it is a multi-file model, again, coming in at just under 75 gigabytes. Next, we have a smaller model, Mistral 7B Instruct FP16, so basically unquantized. This is V3 of Mistral 7B, coming in 14 and a half gigabytes. Next, we have Metalama 370B Instruct. This is another large model, but we have the Q6 quantized version. Let's see if we can run it faster. We have Phi 3 Mini 4K Instruct unquantized. So this is the full unquantized FP16 version. Phi 3 Mini meant to run really fast, seven and a half gigabytes. We have Metalama 3 8 gigabyte Instruct Q8 quantization, eight and a half gigabytes. Metalama 3 8B Instruct Q4 quantization, nearly five gigabytes. And we have Phi 3 Medium full F32 Instruct 128K token context window, 55 gigabytes. I'm just gonna throw what I can at it and we'll see what happens. And for those of you who are really into text to image, I have that as well. We'll be testing that afterwards. All right, so let's start small. We're going to start with our smallest model, 
the Meta Llama 3 Instruct Q4KM quantized version. Just under five gigabytes. All right, load it up, perfect. So just to show you, under GPU settings, we have full GPU offload. Now let's just say, tell me a story, just to see how fast it runs inference. Look at that speed, so cool. All right, that came in just at about 60 tokens per second. Extremely impressive. Let's see how quickly it can write the game Snake in Python. All right, so with this model completely on the GPU, we're getting a little bit above 60 tokens per second, which is fantastic. All right, next, let's step it up. 5.3 Mini 4K Instruct FP16, 7.64 gigabytes. Now, same thing, tell me a story. Boom, lightning fast. All right, here we go, 63 tokens per second. Once again, very similar to Llama 3 of about the same size model. All right, let's give it the killer's problem. Three killers in a room, someone enters the room and kills one of them, nobody leaves the room. How many killers are left in the room? All right, in conclusion, there are technically still three entities associated with murder in this scenario, but it's essential to consider that only two individuals have directly killed someone while others merely changed status due to an event within the room. Interesting, not sure if this is right, but that's not the point. Lightning fast, let's keep going. Let's put a larger model on it now. We have now loaded up Meta Llama 3 Instruct 7B quantized Q8 version. Tell me a story. All right, looks maybe a little bit slower, but still obviously lightning fast. 56 tokens per second, so slightly slower. Let's keep going. Larger, larger, larger. Next, we have Mistral Instruct. This is V3, V0.3, FP16. All right, same thing. Tell me a story. All right, looks like it is going even a little bit slower, but still very fast for such a large model. And over here, we can actually see the GPU utilization, which is only about 40%. And this is one of the longer outputs I've seen for this question. There we go, 42, 41.86 tokens per second. And this is a 14 and a half gigabyte model. Now, before I continue, I wanna try to run a bunch of these smaller models in parallel at the same time. All right, I loaded up five separate versions of Llama 3 AP Instruct Q4 quantization. I turned turned GPU throttling completely off. And I'm gonna turn off, send the prompt to models one by one. Are you super sure? Yep, disable sequential sending. Let's do it. Write a story. Look at that all of these models at the same time. And they're all running really fast. And we can see the GPU utilization is at about 50% now, 143 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, now we got about 25 tokens per second. Yeah, so just about 25 tokens per second on each. Let's load up some more. How many of these can we fit? All right, here we go. We have 10 separate instances of Metalama 3 AP Instruct. Let's go, all running side Simultaneously, look at that. And we are at 70%, 65% GPU utilization, 80%, 70%, 150 degrees Fahrenheit, still keeping nice and cool. CPU utilization is nice and low. RAM utilization is nice and low. Very cool. And by the way, this computer's right next to me and I barely hear it. I'm starting to hear the fan spin up just a little bit though. Now we are at 11 tokens per second. Why don't we add five more? Oh, so it looks like we actually maxed out the number of models models we can load in parallel. Eject some models before loading new ones. VRAM usage, even with all 10, it's 56.84 gigabytes of our 96 gigabytes completely available to us. So I maxed it out. So I'm gonna eject all of them. Now let's do Q8 quantization and see what we could do there. So with Q8 quantization, there are eight and a half gigabytes of VRAM each. Given that, we'll probably be able to load up about 11 of them within 96 gigabytes. So let's try 10 and see what happens because that's the max. Interesting. So this time it only let me load up nine models. So I'm guessing it doesn't let me max out the memory, but we are at 81.54 gigabytes of VRAM used of 96. Let's see. See, write me a story. And look at that, it's still running pretty darn quick. Yeah, I mean, I've seen slower, so this is great. And we are only at about 75 to 80% GPU utilization, and we're sitting at a nice, cool 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Plenty of CPU, plenty of RAM left to use. And it looks like we're still getting about 11 tokens per second. All right, I ejected all the models. Now let's try to load even larger models onto here. So next, we have 5.3 medium, 120K Instruct F32. Let's load it up. Up. All right, it is loaded up. Tell me a short story. Let's see. 
All right, I can see it slowed down a little bit now with this absolutely massive model. I'm gonna guess it's coming in at about seven tokens per second. Wow, I was way off. We are at 27 tokens per second. Okay, very nice. And interesting, we're only at about 50% GPU utilization right now. Now for the beast. Meta, Llama 3 Instruct, Q8 Quantization. This is the 70 billion parameter model. And by the way, the last one was only 14 billion parameters, the Phi 3. So this is 70 billion. All right, here it is. Let's just try something simple again. Write a short story. All right, I mean, it's definitely usable. It's certainly not lightning fast, but it's usable. And let's see what we're coming in at. All right, so that is nine tokens per second with 75 gigabytes loaded onto VRAM. Amazing. And we're sitting at just under 50% GPU utilization right now. CPU is barely being used. RAM has spiked at 73%, but I also do have like 10, 15 other windows open at the same time. All right, so let's actually put it to the test now that we have this massive model. I'm just gonna choose a few of my LLM tests. So write the game Snake in Python, all right? It's gonna be using Pygame, which is great. And we are at 36% utilization, 40% utilization. Temperature still nice and cool, increasing a little bit. CPU still very low and RAM is a little bit higher though. And now this is really slowing down here, but I'm actually quite impressed with the cooling. It is staying very nice and cool. Okay, here we go, finished. And we were at nine tokens per second. So let's copy all this code, open VS Code. I pasted it in, save, and I do see some issues already. Here's width, which is not defined, height, not defined. Okay, so it just looks like width and height are not defined. Let's ask it to fix that. Width and height are not defined. You're right, I apologize. Let me define it. Okay, so I'm just gonna stop it right there because I see what we need right there. Width and height defined, 640 by 480. Looks like it was incorrectly defined maybe. So I corrected those two issues, but it still looks like we don't have access to it. What if I do self.width? Yep, that fixed it. Okay, self.height. I think there's one more place down here. Self.width and self.height. Okay, so I fixed them all. Let's run it. Oh, and it did not work. Unfortunate. All right, so even with this super powerful model, it could not create the snake game in one go. All right, one of the last things I want to show you is the text to image speed. All right, so I downloaded Pinocchio to actually help me install Fucus, and we're gonna be using Fucus for stable diffusion. So go ahead and click it. We're gonna start it up. We'll do default mode. And by the way, if you haven't used Pinocchio, this is actually the first time I've used it, and it just made everything really easy to install if you just want like a one-click install. And it's by Cocktail Peanut, so great work on this. All right, so I have Fucus loaded up locally, and this is gonna be running a diffusion model, so let's give it a try. I'm just gonna say something simple, dog. All right, there it is going. There's one image, here's the second one so it's taking about four seconds per image look at these really nice I'll type in one more generate okay there's one there's two beautiful beautiful look at that all right so that's it I am going to continue testing this monster PC this has now become my main driver let me know what you want me to test it how do I push it to its limit all right, and if you want to enter for a chance to win this incredible Dell monitor, the link is in the description below. All you have to do is sign up for my newsletter and you will have a chance to win. If you're already subscribed to my newsletter, don't worry, just sign up. You won't get multiple emails, but you will be entered to win. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.